Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Dos Cavazos here. I'm Anthony. I'm Casey. And today we are watching episode 7 of Tiger King. Yay! Um, so this was the original last episode before they added another episode. Um, so we've got an overwhelming um, amount of response saying that episode 8 doesn't really continue yeah, with the story. Yeah, like it's not worth it really yeah. um, and there's a, no main players in it but we have seen some people saying that it is worth it mm -hmm. so we decided we're just going to do a poll yeah. um so make sure you go vote on that that's going to be in our community tab yeah. um on our youtube page and we'll be posting that poll the, the so, day we post yeah. this video um so based off of that we'll determine that yeah, we're going to be posting episode eight mm -hmm. um but if not if we'll be finishing up with episode seven so this was the original finale um before the the show ro rose in popularity yeah. um and then i think people just wanted more info that's like one of the criticisms i heard about the eighth episode is that mm. it was just kind of like to keep on the, the on the trend you know and it didn't really give much value um mm. but i mean obviously we haven't seen it so we don't know so yeah just let us know in the poll if you want us to react to that or not yeah it was kind of an interesting situation because you never really ever see that like hey yeah. we're adding one episode yeah two weeks later or a few weeks later yeah. i can't remember the exact time frame um but Getting back to the original story and going back to like the timeline that we're currently on, um, we are finally going to see what happens to Joe, uh, yeah. which we do know he's in jail. We uh, know he's indicted on a alleged murder for hire. Yeah. Is it alleged? At this, I'm honestly, I, we're not lawyers, so yeah. I don't know the terminology. Yeah. But better call was, Saul. <laughs> <laughs> it was for a murder for hire yeah. plot. So that's what I will say. So I think we're going to find out a lot about that yeah. this coming episode because it seemed like the last episode was set up almost kind of. Like, you right. know, the informant information and all that. Which, and that like, was a twist. That was crazy. I didn't crazy. even realize. His husband, was... like, was told there. Yeah. I mean, his ex-husband. But, like, yeah, he yeah. was told and he was like, what? I mean, like. And the thing that gets to me, mm. he was a confidential informant and he had brought in, like, a like you know, an undercover agent. Yeah. But he told Jeff. Yeah. So I'm like, mm -hmm. Okay. So if you watch any of our previous reactions, um, at least me, I've shared a sentiment that I don't even know who the hell to trust yeah, in, this, in this thing. Um, like there is so much information. There yeah. seems like there's honestly just so many guilty parties. So I don't even honestly know if there's a right one in this particular series. Obviously this is a documentary, so these people exist. It's gonna be interesting um, to first see how they wrapped up this series and then kind of go back and like, kind of research, okay, what are these people doing now? Yeah. Um, and maybe that's what episode 8 maybe, maybe like, is. where are they now? Yeah. I don't know. Besides yeah. Joe in jail. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's another funny thing, too. Like, uh, yeah. a few weeks back when they, uh, you know, those uh, those press briefings at the White House and they asked Trump, like, would you consider pardoning Joe Exotic? Uh, I was just like, oh, my gosh. Uh, but uh, I definitely want to hear Joe's uh, story. I'm sure it'll be crazy. I'm sure yeah. it'll be... Oh, man, I don't even know he's how to explain so, it. He's so, like... Interesting one when he talks, like he's yeah. so elaborate, but to the sense that he's like, like you'll believe me, blah blah. Like he's, he just has an interesting, like I guess they said before, or I think I've said before, he's very charismatic, like well, in his speaking. His campaign manager said that he yeah. said anyone he got him in front of, he got his vote. Like he was just, third place in the, the way he yeah. communicates is interesting to me. Not yeah. that he's right or wrong, but just like his style of communication is is interesting. Yeah. You could debate whether you what you think about him and what he does and yeah. whatnot, but like there's just certain people you meet in life that are just very charismatic in the sense that not charismatic in like the the suave type of sense, but they just they know how to talk to people and they know how to get people to like them when you speak to them. Yeah. Um, and Joe's very good at that. And he's like, just like a spectacle no matter what yeah. so and i think kind of like what he said too like you know they were kind of coming i think more so to the to the zoo for him mm -hmm. like almost kind of not just for the cats but and for joe because it's kind of almost kind of like a package deal like he was almost a caricature of himself yeah. like these music videos and these billboards with him with tigers mm -hmm. and married to multiple husbands it's just like it's just so I don't know, I was going to say extravagant, but like, it was just so like crazy to even think like, this person exists, this person isn't just like a yeah. fairy tale or something like that. <laughs> like it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's crazy and like, you know, I never knew who Joe Exotic was. Mm. I've never seen a picture of him until like yeah. last month, until we started seeing, you know, Tiger King and whatnot. And, uh, you know, it's just, um, it's just a crazy story that yeah. like, I, I definitely want to know how it all, I don't know how it all wrapped up, but I want to see how this show wraps up. So we found out that Jeff was going to move the zoo, or the sanctuary, I guess, to closer to the Texas border over by Windstar. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious if they're going to get into, like, how the new zoo is, or, like, if... Did it even happen? Yeah, did it even happen? Like, what it is? What what happened with that? Yeah. Yeah, because 
it seems like, you know, this was kind of like 2018-ish, when they, at least where they left us off in the last episode. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious to you know if they actually did finish yeah, that zoo. Yeah, is it like a functioning, is it still going? Yeah. All right, well, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. And let's jump into this next one. I mean, just look at, we were talking about how everyone yeah. was just, like gravitating towards them. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have anything to worry about. When I'm married to you, I just wanted it to be different than everything else. It does seem like Dylan loves him, though. The current owners of what used to be Joe Exotics Park say they've been cooperating with the feds ever since the murder for hire allegations came to light. And with his trial looming, other investigations are unfolding. Jeff Lowe let the feds into Joe's house. And they went through and took oh Joe's God. documents, jump drives, and all this other stuff. Don't let the police mm -hmm. in the house. Federal authorities made some key discoveries, bones of big cats. <gasps> What? Like that they had okay. died? They said that Joe had shot five tigers and they dug them up and found the skulls. Why? Were they like for no reason? Wildlife. All of the wildlife charges to put pressure on Joe because the murder for hire charge was so flimsy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might just be his opinion on it. So did you shoot those tigers? I euthanized five tigers, okay? If you have a tiger or a lion that needs to put to sleep, you've got to shoot it or dart it. But were they sick? Is the question. I don't know how. Could why they would could, you? Hold on. I don't know how they could prove it though. That zoo down in Thackerville. That was my idea, but things started to sour. Jeff would be indicted if it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that got Jeff the deal. Because I stuck my neck out for you, and why wouldn't you put my name on your zoo? And oh. I said, you know, James, it just doesn't work like that. So how involved was Jeff Lowe in plotting this whole plan to kill Carol? So basically what happened is Jeff Wait, Lowe helped <laughs> put the thing together. And because he obviously knew about it, because Jeff Lowe told me on the phone that he was going to use Alan Glover. They have the people who were closest to him, people who were so inter wound with him for years and years and years and years. They're the very people who were testifying against him. Came up with this 410 in his hand, and I knew he just shot Cuddles. I heard it, and he come up the hill and goes, God damn, Eric. If I knew it was gonna be this easy, just walk right up to the cage, I'll just go kill them all. There's no way for me to stop it. The only silver lining to it is that if someone were to kill me, I think it would push this movement so far forward that it would be worth it. <laughs> Jeff Lowe is a very skilled con man. How is he not facing any charges? I don't think that it is any surprise that he did not testify. He would have perjured himself. I mean, letting the hitman loose tells you it's, it's kind of a witch hunt because this guy went down there to fuck a murder. That's what I was saying, remember? I was like, really? He didn't get anything. How could they possibly give testimony and you believe what they were saying? They cannot be trusted. Yeah. Why wasn't Alan Glover confronted about lying on the stand? Like that story about going to Florida. It never happened. Well, there were mixed stories, but Alan apparently testified that he actually came to Florida, so I believe him. I'm confused now. Phone recordings to prove that Alan never went to Florida. No. I didn't go to fucking Campbell. Hell, I wouldn't go there for. I wouldn't want to kill no motherfucking body. He could have gave me a million fucking dollars that went, went and killed that fucking one that's enough. I wouldn't even went to fucking Florida on a vacation. <laughs> he literally just said he never went to Florida. Apparently, I chickened the fuck out. Yeah, that's what he said. That's he what we thought. Carolina, right? Somewhere. Lying under oath is supposed to mean something. They should be charged with perjury. And you would think that it would be a mistrial. Kind of has a point. Thanksgiving Day. I had cooked dinner for Otter and said I could put together three thousand dollars to give Alan so he could get the hell out of there. Here, sweetie, I'll help you. So he's saying there. he just gave him money yeah. to leave. Was out of the cash register on Jeff's orders to give it to Alan. Nothing to do with the murder. Yeah. Is that he's saying? Oh, Joe just... can be That's... convincing. Uh -huh. But I don't know. Yeah, you see, there's no proof, I guess, right? It appears he was set up each step of the way. He's not smart enough to go through with what he did. Who yeah. hires a $3,000 hitman? He's also stupid. A cross-country traveling high-end hitman cannot cost three grand. I don't think it could cost 30 grand. What is setting up a person, turning them in or allowing them to talk while you're recording them? Is that setting them up? You know, they call it set up. I call it investigate. I feel like it's kind of a set 
up. Bunch of good about my jury. I think I'm going home. If I win and get out, I've got to completely start my life all over again. It was part of the government's evidence that we showed the jury a variety of the social media postings that yeah, Mr. Passage had so made bad. that referenced Miss Baskin in a violent way. He was going to simply assassinate his rival. And it's your job now to make sure that no one, not even the Tiger King, is allowed to be above the laws of the United States. I was actually approached early on about testifying, and then I never heard from anybody. I ran that zoo for 14 years. Why would they not want to talk to me? Hmm. That is weird. That is super weird. Guilty. Did Joe do wrong? Yeah, I'm sure he did wrong. Uh, he did sell cubs. Uh, he did transport cubs. Um, the murder for hire thing, I don't think it ever would have went this far without somebody pushing it. A lot of people questioned, is Jeff Lowe, should he face charges as well? He's a director of a zoo. I mean, it's the same zoo that Joe has, so... The man's gonna die in jail. I don't know what his sentence was. Yeah, was it the 79 years or whatever? We take Lauren in next Tuesday to be induced to give birth to oh, Sarah Evelyn Lowe. Then we get Lauren back in the gym. <laughs> what the ready? fuck? Ready for That's the a nanny. weird thing to say. It's so fucked up. <laughs> That's the nanny. I said, you can get a nanny as long as I get to pick her. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. If you're gonna bring in one, why bring in one that's not enjoyable to look at? I mean, you're gonna have to have this person living. Don't you want someone who can take care of your child properly? <laughs> More so than how you care about their looks? What's wrong with these? And I don't think Joe will be in a cell alone. I think other people are going too. I mean, they don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm. I don't think I'm finished in this. <gasps> How <laughs> oh. <laughs> was that a joke? I don't know. Oh. Turn that shit off for a minute. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I called. I called and I asked the feds, what's going to happen to these people that's done all this stuff? They said it is far from over. Oh. Maybe they one break at a time. I've got a list of 37 names. I can shut them all down. He was able to share information with us about wildlife trafficking in the United States, the abuse of animals that's going on behind the scenes and by a lot of the players. There's one to Doc Antle. Two male tigers. Stop. Oh, that's bad? <laughs> oh. I mean, how many editors saw this before they put it in the documentary, so. Doc Antle puts tiger cubs who've aged out of playtime events in a gas chamber. <gasps> and then that he cremates their bodies in his on-site crematorium. She said, if we'll get something done, are you willing to testify against them? I didn't go 900 miles to build a damn zoo by my damn self so he could take the glory. I was paying to have all the stuff shipped out there. It was supposed to be a 50-50 business. Sam finally figured out that Jeff Lowe doesn't have no money and he's footing the bill. So, hey, Jeff, here I come, motherfucker. <laughs> You got Tim talking to Joe, Joe talking to Peter, and all these people hated one another six months ago. They're all a common theme coming after you. Everyone involved is a, is a so-called animal advocate. Not a single animal benefited from this war. Yeah, that's true. Not a single one. Probably the most true thing that's been said yeah. in this entire series. Oh. <laughs> Joe Exotic? <laughs> like, mm, that remote. Oh, he's getting your door okay, okay. Or fixed. I didn't want to be unhappy anymore, so. I just, I left my wife Aww. after 30 years. Wow. What started out as this feud between two people, good and noble fight to stop cub selling, cub petting, turned into a personal and legal court battle, and it just became about them. Think of that. It has to be millions of dollars. It has to be. Think of the hundreds of thousands spent investigating Joe. Think of their millions of followers, donors, and whatnot. Think of how far that could go, saving these tigers in their natural habitats. Very true. Very beautiful animals, but they have a place in the world, and that's in Africa and Asia and India, not in Oklahoma. It's like that was what I truly to. believe that Joe started the zoo for good purposes, good reasons. The state needs to pass laws that this breeding has got to stop. Oh my Gosh, what a different side. Are the animals happy? Who the hell knows? I finally moved my two chimpanzees last week. They sit in cages next to each other for over 10 years. And in two days, they were out in a big yard hugging on each other. <gasps> they never got to 
seed? Did I deprive them of that for 10 years? Gosh. Yep. Why wouldn't you just build them a field? Like... I, I deprived them of, of being chimpanzees. You had 10 years to figure that out. Did I do it on purpose? No, I was wrapped up in, in having a zoo. 22. Oh, I was in his 50s, would be in the 70s. Back. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, not responded. I wonder what came of, here, came of that. Wow. What the fuck? I did not know that. What the fuck? That's the ending. Is it a music video? Yeah. What a way to make you feel weird inside. Maybe I do understand why people wanted an next episode because it's yeah. like there's still so many questions. Like we didn't hear anything about Jeff yeah. or what happened after Doc Antle's raid. Mm -hmm. I want to know. Like I, I don't want to look it up either because I do want to watch yeah. the next episode and, and actually see that. I would like for them to reopen up the old investigation on Carol Baskin husband. Just I want every everything. I want all the answers to come like to light. You know. I feel like there's a lot more investigations because I feel like there's a lot more truth to come to this and. Kind of like what they said, there may be a lot more people that have done a lot of things that sh they should have probably put them in jail. Let us know if you want us to post that. Or yeah. Not. Mm -hmm. We'll do a poll um, when we post this. But, um, damn, it's just... Crazy. Yeah. I just didn't I... even know this part of society existed. <laughs> like, it's yeah. just... Yeah. To see Joe when he was younger and, like, the things he was saying, like, the breathing has to stop, and it seemed like he really, truly cared. And he just, like, the power got to his head. He lost his mm. way. And he kind of like came back around and was like, like I deprived like the chimpanzees. That's, but yeah. like you had 10 years, like, and mm. if they got out into an open field, like why couldn't you build them an open field? And if you couldn't do that, like you shouldn't have them. Yeah. A lot of people grew with the power and like mm -hmm. what the tigers brought because for whatever reason, like I don't see it, but like they draw people in, yeah. like it's almost like. People are like hypnotized by yeah. like these tigers, and I'm just like I don't like get that like they're beautiful creatures, mm -hmm. um, and that whole like fact there at the end if it's like true like the four thousand like that yeah, are like that's oh, what crazy. the hell like I did not know like there were more possibly more in captivity mm -hmm. than are out in the wild that's insane. All that Using money animals. could have been gone to you know yeah. a more productive approach instead of just battling each other in court. Yeah. But. Uh, I want to see more facts come to to light. In all honesty, I want to see what uh, Jeff has to say yeah. um i want to see like obviously he gave him information about doc and that's what i guess led to that raid um definitely want to see what happened to that raid definitely want to see what obviously happened to jeff and all the other interested parties involved um but you know i will say too like they made so many good points about it um being like it seemed like it was we're taking down joe no matter what yeah like we're taking joe and like it doesn't seem like everything else fell by the wayside yeah. just maybe because he was so polarizing and yeah. people knew it and i guess more of his it seemed like more because he was like such a central figure it represent like okay he's doing this there yeah. may be other people doing this too but, but he's like the he's the one that knows. people know and like if we present him people are going to know okay and yeah. then it's going to be brought more to light but they said but, that the care act didn't actually even it hasn't passed yet yeah but they also did say that like they weren't done yet so i wonder yeah. if now they got that done they're going to go back and then like James Garretson, he like, I couldn't tell if he was joking or not, but what if they, you know, he helps again for whatever reason, or maybe he's trying to save yeah. himself still. Um, but regardless, that'd be crazy, like, if they, they're not done yet, and they're just, like, gonna take him down. PETA, I know, yeah. is not done yet. They yeah, don't absolutely. stop, but... Yeah. They don't stop. The way you said they don't they, stop. They don't stop. <laughs> um, Not that I know. I've never had an instance yeah. of beta, but... <laughs> um, like, yeah, I'll, I'll even speak to, like, you know, the, the thing with that, uh, that Jeff was saying, like, oh, yeah, she's going to have my child, and then, like, oh, we're going to get her back oh, yeah. in the gym, and then we're going to find a hot nanny. I know. I was That's just like, weird. what the fuck? Like, you, uh, I don't, whatever. I want to see if these, like, accusations or um, these inf this information that Joe had about everybody... Um, was factual and if it was I do feel like that everyone you know who's guilty of crimes should face punishments for those or at least justice for the crimes of what they are guilty of um, so we'll see what ends up happening um, I like you said in the show it's just 
something that's ongoing, I guess. And like, I'm very interested to see like how much has progressed since it seems like it was happening around 2018, 2019. Well, thank you so much for coming on this Tiger King journey with us. This was Crazy. something completely <laughs> different for our channel um, that we did. And I'm glad that we did it. And I'm glad that we got to share the experience um, with all of you. That's kind of a big point of reactions, you yeah. know, it's just to share the experience together and discuss. So this was a really awesome one. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And let us know if you'd like us watching documentaries because yeah. it might be something we revisit mm -hmm. in the future. If you have any other recommendations. Yeah. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. We're doing so many other um, shows, series. We have playlists on our channel if you want to go check those out. And please check out our Patreon where we have full-length reactions as well as other exclusive content. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.